Hello friends, welcome back to Love for Food and Travel. As we enter into the holy month of Ramadan, we are again back with a video on night market shopping in Charminar to capture the festive spirit and delicious food of Hyderabad's old city. If you are new to our channel, please do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This time, we started bit late at 10.20 and as expected, the roads were jam-packed at Toli Chowki. There were multiple temporary kebab centers set up on the road along with small shopping expos which resulted in traffic conditions. As we approached Old City, we could see most of the shops still open even at 11 in the night. The roads were bustling with people and I continue to enjoy the vibe of true Hyderabad. We reached Charminar at 11.15 and parked our car in a paid parking space in Moti Gali Road. To our surprise, the entire area was filled and had just the space to park our car. The parking fee is rupees 50 for an hour. From there, we were able to pass through few gullies into the large market. All this way, we could see a lot of small designer dress shops throughout. Very soon, we entered the large market road where I could see glittering bangle shops on both sides of the road. Many of the shops were still open and the shopkeepers were calling the customers to come inside the shop and to have a look at their bangle collection. Soon I reached Charminar and I saw a lot of vendors selling bangles and accessories. These set of bangles were sold at Rs 150. How much is this? 150. 150. 150. All. All 150. Ke These glittering bangles were priced at Rs. 250. This is 150. Ke hai. 250. Those are 150. This is 250. I am sure that you will be able to bargain a bit and buy these at a good deal. I also came across glass bangles for rupees 50 a dozen. Achha. Oh, this is metal. Ka hai. Hmm. This is 100. They had bangles of different colors and patterns. At Charmina, there are so many options in bangles that you will find your desired ones in any of these countless shops here. Even if you are not a big fan of these bangles, looking at this collection, you will be mesmerized and will surely buy at least few sets of these bangles. The pricing of these bangles are also reasonable. I did buy few sets of bangles for Rs 100 and Rs 150. Next, I saw a ladies handbag shop. They were selling these bags for rupees 200. Green. Oh, green. How much is this? 200. I also came across this accessory shop where these pearl necklaces were priced at rupees 250. They also had a good collection of imitation necklaces. I also saw a ladies footwear stall where these sandals were priced at Rs 250. 
Next to this was this vendor selling watches and these were priced at rupees 150. There was also some simple and elegant necklaces that were priced at rupees 250. Also, there were multiple vendors selling different types of earrings. The price of these earrings starts from rupees 60 to rupees 100. Next to this was the stall selling these beautiful sandals for girls. These were in the price range of rupees 250 to 300. There were also sandals and shoes for boys too. I also came across these scarves for rupees 150. There was this stall selling only ladies bag for rupees 200. Some of these handbags were worth buying. I came across this shop selling ladies salwar for rupees 350. I was really interested in this shop which was selling fancy handbags. These handbags were sold in the range of rupees 200 to 250. Next I also saw boys t-shirts and shorts stall selling two pieces for rupees 150. Just beside the stall there was another vendor selling three pieces of kids nightwear for rupees 100. 100. There was an ocean of sandals and slippers that were available starting for rupees 100. all the way to rupees 200 till 250 these were looking really good but do bargain before buying these by this time we reached the mosque near the charminar it was already midnight and the entire shopping lane was packed with people at this point of time we decided to take a small break we went to milan juice center and ordered a matka special for rupees 200 this was a fruit salad and cream we wanted to have a mango malai but it was not available at this time near to milan juice center there were few eateries where you can have hyderabadi and chinese food however we decided to go on i also saw a ceramic and glass vendor Where cups, plates, glasses, jugs were sold. There, I also saw vendors selling mohabbate sharbat and apple juice for rupees twenty. Next to that, I saw a vendor selling just dates. He had both local dates and good quality Kimia dates. I saw a new shop open this year called King's Juice Center. They were selling juices and shawarma. We then decided to go to the famous Al Akbar fast food center and check out various dishes. They had chicken fry, chicken 65 and other chicken varieties along with burki parotta. I wanted to try burki parotta with chicken fry. I got couple of burki parotta and a plate of chicken fry. The chicken was well marinated and it went well with burki parotta. It was priced at rupees 240. There was also a halim counter close to this selling both chicken and mutton halim. Chicken halim was priced at rupees 120 while mutton halim was priced at rupees 220. After this we continue to check out various street vendors nearby. Here I saw ladies dresses for rupees 250 to rupees 350. They had a decent collection of western outfits that is both appealing and reasonable. The 
There were other vendors selling ladies and gents dresses. I was particularly interested in this vendor selling men's shirt which was sold for rupees 200. They also had ladies jeggings for rupees 150. The same vendor also had kurtas for rupees 200. While coming back, I saw a bag vendor selling this strong and sturdy bag for rupees 150. As a customary practice, we went to Nimra Cafe and had a maska bun and chai. The maska bun was soft and butter fill inside was delicious. Maska bun was priced at rupees forty, while the tea was priced at rupees twenty. I also saw a lot of perfume vendors selling different types of perfumes. I then came across these beautiful lights. which was sold at rupees 100 for 2 pieces I also saw few vendors selling keychain holders where you can customize names on the plates as well as on the keychain There was also a good collection of artificial flowers Finally I saw a stall selling rings. These were looking very gorgeous and fancy. By the time we completed our shopping, it was already 1:00. We walked back to the car parking area and started driving back home. While driving back we could see a number of police patrol vehicles conducting regular checks in different parts of the city which is required to keep the city safe for everyone At Tolly Chowk we could still see good number of people at each and every Halim outlet and most of these eateries were open to Even at Gachi Boli Restaurants like Pakwan Grand and Shagos were still bustling with people at 2 in the morning. These are some curious sights that you can see only during the season. And by the time we reached home, it was already 2:15. Overall, it was a good experience at Charminar, indulging in street shopping, trying out some of these delicacies and also to experience the vibe of whole Hyderabad during the season. If you like this video please do like and share with your friends and relatives who are interested in night market and charmina shopping until we meet again in another interesting video be happy and keep smiling love you dears